Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to go through how to interface our MicroLogix PLC trainer with Industrial Concepts PID trainer. If you're coming to us in the middle of this series, look down in the description and I'll put a link to the video series where we've been going through why we use PIDs, why manual control sometimes and sometimes does not work, where we can use on-off control, and the basics of the PID instruction. So the goal of this video is to get our MicroLogix 1100 PLC trainer interface with the Industrial Concepts PID trainer so that you can go through the rest of the series because it is written for Studio 5000, but really once you have this interface done and you go through our next MicroLogix PID video, which is how to configure your PID, then you'll be able to follow along with the series just fine. Each point on the PID trainer has a plus and a minus. First, we're gonna jumper all of the minuses together. And then we're gonna take the minus over here to the right set of terminals, which is our zero volt of our 24 volt power supply. And then our analog prox plus is gonna to go to input zero of our analog. So if we pop open our 1762 IF2 OF2, it is going up here to the N zero plus. Then our fan control plus is going to go to output zero of that analog. And that will be V out zero, which is right here. And then we have damper open and damper close. And damper open is going to go to output zero. And damper close is going to go to output one. Also, a few additional wires that you need on the MicroLogix 1100 is we have plus 24 volt, which is our left set of terminals connected to the VDC terminal for output zero and the VDC terminal for output one. And also right here, you need to connect the IN zero minus to your COM and that will connect on to the left set of terminals, which is our zero volt of our power supply. One other thing is in the top of your 1762 IF2 OF2, there are two jumpers for the inputs, and these are your load resistors for milliamp signals. We're gonna be using voltage signals, so we need to switch off. So there's the basics of our wiring to interface our PLC trainer with Industrial Concepts PID trainer. And now we're gonna create a basic program just to make sure all of our wiring is working. So we're gonna start with a new program, an RS Logix 500, and we have a 1763 MicroLogix 1100 PLC, and it's a Series B, and we're just gonna call this processor PID. And then we need to add our analog modules to our IO configuration. So we're gonna open up our IO configuration, and on the right side, let's find that 1762IF2OF2. And then let's open it up just to double check its analog configuration. If we go over here to analog configuration, and it does default to 0 to 10 volt DC, which is exactly what we want. And then you can either use raw proportional or you can use scale for PID. And since we're going to be doing a PID, let's go ahead and scale it for that. Click OK. And one other thing we need to set is our channel configuration. Since we are communicating over Ethernet, if we download this program to it without that, it would wipe out our Ethernet configuration. So we're going to disable boot P and we're going to set an IP address of 192.168.110 with a subnet of 255.255.255. And that will do. So now we're actually just going to download this blank program to make sure that our interface between our trainer and the Industrial Concepts PID trainer does work. If you need any help downloading your program or configuring your serial or Ethernet connection, look down in the description. We have videos on those. We're downloaded and we're going to switch it to run mode. Let's open up our output data files and we're going to test our damper control first. So output zero should be open, which it is open right now. So let's try changing output one to a one. Okay, and we can see by the indicator there it is closing. So this is going to be our damper close. And we'll put a zero back in that one and then output zero 
we put a one in it, yes, that is going to open our damper up. So that will be damper open. So in our future videos, when you're following through our series where we're actually using the Studio 5000 for some of the exercises, whenever we're talking about damper open, you'll be using output zero. And whenever we're talking about damper closed, you'll be using output one. Now let's check our analogs. So we'll just actually right here is O colon one dot zero should be our voltage output. Now it's in binary right now, which is a little difficult when you're working with analog values. So if we hit the radix button here, then we can switch it to decimal. Let's try just putting in 10,000. Ooh, yep, it goes up. So let's try putting in 20,000. Yep, got some more. And finally, let's put in the maximum value, which is going to be 32,767. Yep, and that's pretty well at the top. Our analog output definitely works. Now let's check out our analog input. So let's open up our input data table. And let's drag them around where we can see both of them. And then we want to change our radix again to decimal. And there it is, input zeros. But when it's sitting still, it looks like it's, oh, somewhere around 600 is our bottom point. So then on our output, one zero, let's take that back up to around 30,000. All right, and we're around 12,000 on it. So all our IO interfaces are working between our PLC trainer and Industrial Concepts PID trainer. So in the next video, we'll go through how to configure your PID instruction in RS Logics 500. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.